Hello beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing great. So for today's video, I'm excited because I got in the mail the new palette from Ace Beauté, the Mystic Romance palette. I saw this on their website and I just fell in love with the colors. I already did some swatches to show you what they look like in the sunlight and next to a window so you can really see the colors. This is perfect for fall as well because look at this bottom row over here. This is just perfect for fall, right? But then you have those gorgeous colors like this one and this one that are just so freaking beautiful. I know I'm going to play with this a couple of times. So I'm probably going to end up doing two looks on this video. I'm not sure if I have time to do that, but I'll try. And I know I'm gonna be doing some other looks on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me over there, the, the link is in the description box. So you can follow me over there and check them out. I'm focusing a lot lately on shorts and reels to see if that helps me out with the algorithm or something because my views have dropped a lot and I don't know how to get them up. I don't know how to get them up. I've been struggling for a while. So for this look, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want something soft or something dark and smoky. But I know I want to use this color ever since I saw it because it's like a dusty rose color. Let's start with that one. I'm going to put that all over the lid. Oh yeah, I love dusty rose colors like this one. It's like mauve -y love those because it's on the cool side oh this is so pretty okay so i think i'm gonna use this one next up here it's very similar to this one but this was more on the brown side more on the orange side and this one's more on the red side and i'm just gonna put that in the outer corner You know, one thing that I love about Ace Beauté is that they do very fast shipping. I've never had any delays on any of the palettes that I've bought from them. Which is crazy because some other brands take forever and they come from the same state. <laughs> I don't understand why, but they have very fast shipping. I love that. Don't you just hate waiting for something and you have to be waiting weeks for it? I hate that. <laughs> By the time it gets here, it's like either you forgot about it or if you had an idea of what to do with it, you completely forgot what you wanted to do with it. <laughs> that happens to me when I have to be waiting for a package, especially if it's makeup related. But with them, they I'm telling you the same week I got it. It just took like maybe four days or sometimes it takes five days and that's it. I think I'm gonna do a light look with this and for the next look I'll do something more smoky and more dramatic so I'm debating which shimmer to use but I think I'm gonna stay in the purple range and use this one it's like a purple silver I already put glitter primer so it could stay put and not have a lot of fallout I like this Oh, this is pretty. That, look at that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be lighter, but still is a gorgeous color. Okay, I'm gonna take the lightest shade, which is this one, and use that for under the brow bone, just to clean this area up and brighten it. You can skip this part, but I always like putting something brighter down here. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this one, which is called Rose. Gorgeous pink. I'm going to keep the bottom of my eyes lighter. 
so I'm just going to use this one and that mauve shade that I started off with. And I'm going to take the shade Fog, which is that mauve shade, and put that really close to the lower lash line. Alright, I'm gonna pop in some lashes. I'm probably gonna use these one by AOA. What style is this? This is the style Elidia. I haven't used these in a while and I'll be back. Right, this is the final look. What do you think? I love that glitter. That purple glitter is like a purple silver. It's stunning. You should see it in person. <laughs> and I love the look that I created. It's all purple tones and I love it. Stay tuned for the next look. I'm going to do something different, use the different colors to try as many as I can. And I'll see you for that one. Okay, so for today, for look number two, I think I want to stick to the bottom row. And also I want to play with these two up here because they look very pretty. I already put concealer on my eyes because I want to start with my eyes first. I'm going to go in with this color, Enigma. That's the first shade I'm going to use. I'm just going to put that all over the crease and above. How have you been? Let me know all the good stuff down in the comment section. I love hearing from you. If you want to see more looks, definitely go to my Instagram because I'll be posting more reels over there with using this palette. So if you haven't followed me over there the link to my instagram is in the description box i blended super fast i'm gonna use a smaller brush now and i'm gonna take this shade in the corner and i'm gonna deepen the crease i'm not gonna go as high as i did with this one gorgeous cool tone brown sometimes i like mixing warm tones and cool tones to balance it out with this palette I haven't ran into any issues so that's great now I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette just put that in the outer corner a little bit not a lot just to deepen this outer corner just a bit more I had fun doing that first look with all the purples it was so freaking pretty question for you what videos do you like to see do you like vlogging videos like going shopping taking you along to see all the stuff in the stores do you like just makeup related content holiday related content what do you like to watch I've been struggling lately with my YouTube and it's getting kind of frustrating because <laughs> I can't decide what to do or what to post because I don't know what people want to see and lately my views have gone down drastically and I don't know why I've been trying to focus on shorts because they say shorts is really good the algorithm is better and all that but I don't see any difference at all in fact I see a huge drop when I do shorts it's like nobody watches them either so <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do to save this channel. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, Jesus, please let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know anymore. Okay, I went ahead and added the glitter primer by NYX. And I'm going to go in with the shimmers now. Super exciting. In the last one, I used the purple one and that was stunning. So now I think I'm going to start with this one. Right here in the outer corner. I'm dying to see how that one looks. Oh wow. It's way darker than I thought, but it's so freaking beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, for a nice smoky eye look, this is great. 
I'm gonna try to do three of the shimmers on the lid for today's look to try as much as I can. Oh, I love that color. I'm gonna clean that brush and I'm gonna go in with, let's see, then I have these two up here, which I also wanna try, yes, both of them. Why not, right? I'm gonna go in with this one first. Put it right next over here next to that black one. This is what I wanted, like a fall glittery type of moment. <laughs> I'm gonna take the lightest one called Celestial, this one, and put it in the inner corner. Oh yeah, there it is. Just press with my fingers because you get more of a pop that way. Can't really tell the difference between those two colors, but I think it's because I had that warm brown underneath but they are different. So it's more gold and yellow. The middle one is more orange. I don't know if you can tell. Let me intensify the first shade, which was this one, over here, because it kind of got lost with the other shades. And I don't want to lose that one. That one's gorgeous. Perfect for fall. I don't think I've ever done a look, a fall look with glitter <laughs> or metallics like this. So I'm super excited because it's something new. Let me go back in with the black, the eyeshadow. Blend that in here. this area here with the lightest shade on the palette which is called sacred it's basically my skin tone <laughs> just makes a huge difference in the look you're creating because it kind of tightens up everything it just cleans everything up and I think I'm going to use that same shimmer right in the inner corner no actually i'm going to stick with this one the matte one just put that there to brighten that area up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and i'll be back to do the lower lash line okay i'm back i think i'm gonna use this shade at the lower lash line that orangey shade it's more like a brown orange the red one it's like a red color right in the center put that really close to the lower lash line give it a little pop of red Is pr probably outer corner lashes. I'm debating which one I want, and I'll be back. Right, I'm back for lashes. I use these one by Cara Beauty. Love these. I haven't used this in a while. And these are the style 202. And for lips, I use this one by Juvia's Place. It's a lip gloss, and it's so pigmented. It's like a lipstick, a shiny lipstick. And this was in shade Miro. Love that one, super creamy and hydrating. So this is the other look, the second look. You gotta let me know which one's your favorite look. Was it the purple one or this one? I think I like this one more, even though I love purple, because this one reminds me so much of fall. 
and I love fall so I think this is my favorite one well, I got to use a whole bunch of the colors in this palette I'll tell you how many I used 12 I used 12 12 out of 15 so that's great I love all the shades that I got I especially love this one right here this one and this one that I used in the first look out of the shimmers those are the ones that are my favorite i still have to try these two over here these are more like satin a satin finish i think yeah it is i have to try those and from the mattes i have to try just this one it's like a pink like a hot pink so yeah you gotta let me know if you got this palette and what do you think of it. I'm liking it so far. So stay tuned for more reels and shorts on this palette. I'll be using this palette a couple of times more. And you can see that on Instagram or here in shorts on YouTube. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. That helps me out a lot. Give the video a thumbs up if you can. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.